Hey guys, I wanted to jump on here real quick and show something super exciting I just discovered or found out. So um, as we start to work with more American USA native trees, there's a lot of experimenting going on. I know Ryan Neal is doing a lot with some um, native pine tree varieties to see if they are going to, if they can reliably be multi-flush or um, single flush trees. Most of our, many of our multi-flush varieties are only multi-flush when you employ bonsai techniques with the initial decandling and such. So I have a red pine. It's an American red pine, not a Japanese red pine that I collected last year. It did not do anything. I didn't do anything to it last year because it was goal one, surviving collection. It had not pushed out all of its needles last year. So I knew that it coming into the fall, into early winter, it wasn't yet ready to start work because it was saying it didn't have enough root support yet to push that remainder of that growth. This spring, it pushed out all of its um, needles from the candles it had set. So I went in and I did do um, some candle reduction. And I did notice a couple, a couple weeks ago, end of June, that there were um, new baby candles. And I actually, I initially thought that they were actually um, being set for this next spring. But I came back here to weed and check on them and check this out. So these are the candles from this spring. And then these are brand new candles that have just pushed out. So the American red pine on the limbs where I did work did multi flush this year. Um, we don't know if that's reliable. This is another branch that I had done some um, candle reduction. And again, we have new little ones that are pushing out down here. Um, so that's exciting. Now, since we're back here, let's go ahead and take a look at the crab apple and I'll show you how amazing it is doing. So this is the crab apple. It's huge, huge. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pop a picture of what it looked like this spring as a bare rooted sapling that arrived. What I did was I put it in this bucket later spring and I actually have this bucket now had it positioned where it will get every wind insult possible because I wanted to develop a nice lower base and look at the roots that it's look at the spread it's put out here so this has about a two and a half foot spread out here two and a half foot two and a half inch spread um, at this point and we have a nice thick base that's actually um, really starting to wood up nice we had all this brand new growth. Now, most likely my plan for this is next year, it'll be a trunk chop at some point here and we'll take off with this as the new leader and a air layer up here. But when this arrived, it was no more than, you know, a itty bitty bitty whippy sapling. Now here was the um, native American plum that was correct collected this spring where most of the tree was already dead, but I thought that would be really cool. People say deciduous tree doesn't have dead wood. It does have deadness. So if this tree survives and it has put out these nice big shoots back here, um, it is still growing from the branches here that were alive. Um, if it survives, my styling plan for this tree is to incorporate the dead canopy up here and create our a nicely manicured 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 tree below the dead canopy so um we're just not going to do any of that at this time because this tree is not ready for that okay we have the four collected oaks they're doing exactly what i expect is these are extremely hard to collect and i think i was talking to jay when he had collected his that we give them you know, all the way into even late fall to prove life and then protect them heavily during the winter. So what was alive died off with the exception of 
we have new bud new buddings new buds just starting to emerge and grow so we know that the roots are starting to recover um this one has not proven any life yet neither has this one but again this one is now starting to bud and push from the base and prove life so we just continue to baby these these will be in the cold room they cannot be subject to true winter outside even though they are a native obviously a native oak variety um whether they come out of spring you know that's gonna wait and be said wait and be said wait and be seen next year so that's it for um some just quick updates today had no plan on this but i did get really excited when i saw that the um, american red pine had actually done a multi-flush this year so i hope you guys are having fun have fun with your bonsai ruby hi ruby says hi